Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of Star Drifter. And it seems I'm still doing okay rules-wise. Yes, I did forget to penalize my opponent during the last or first battle or star battle. But apart from that, I think I am doing okay so far. I also didn't really get any feedback in respect to my house ruling of, let's say, being forced moving out of a sector or not. Again, until I hear otherwise, I will make these judgment calls every now and then. But I think for games like this, this should be allowed anyway, right? I mean, it's all about the experience. Our next plan of action was to remain in this sector here with the colonized plant and sell our mineral there to a mineralogist. I believe there might have been some goof in the linking of those events, but not a big deal anyway. So I think that's the uh, basically action. That's a point of interest action and will also trigger the event. And things are not so easy as they seem. <laughs> we have to roll another die. You bring your minerals to a mineralogist for selling. I don't know why I'm struggling with that. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do that. And again, we are hoping for something high. No, that's not high at all. So the only thing we get, it's a common mineral we are paid for. Five lucre. Ah, we could have gained more star points here. And you see that here, it's a D6. And I think the other event, when we have brought back the orphan, even would have allowed me to roll a D10 also. So I could have won the game basically either with the very first encounter or maybe now with these two combined here. But okay, nothing bad did happen. I will award myself with five more. Lucre. I mean, that's also something, right? This also ends our round and now we will also remain here and we'll, for the first time in the game, negotiate with the spaceport. You're at a massive spaceport, countless ships, aliens and humans alike congregate here to conduct various business or leisure activities. Uh, roll a d10 to determine available facilities. You must choose one option after rolling. You must choose one option after rolling. That's basically the key piece. So maybe they should have printed this in bold. But this could become pretty nasty. Actually, that's a five. It can't be that bad, right? Or is it? If your notoriety star is, yeah, high or in danger level, we are actually in the danger level. So we have to go through another event. E030. Okay, what might this be? Yeah, no surprise here. Security, you are confronted by local security. Oh, now it's only a D6. Okay, that's something different at least. And I really haven't checked the outcomes yet. Uh, <laughs> no, this can't be good, right? So maybe the game is over. <laughs> you have been framed for a crime. E60. Uh, even two would have been bad, it seems, but okay. Let's go there. Okay, it's not quite over yet. So it seems there might be a way out. We are in a brick. Oh, Battlestar Galactica all over again. You are sent to the detention center and questioned. Okay, attempt a mind skill test. Table C. Okay, that's the... No, it's okay. It's still the... Uh, what is it called? Moderate difficulty level with a mind minus two. So we are basically rolling without any modifiers again. So we really had our chances here. Um, what do we need to roll actually let's can i maybe zoom over here a little bit yeah i think this should be okay actually so we need to roll a five at least a five how about a two um which is simply a fail what would be the normal we would still gain um a destiny point oh maybe i should have upgraded my stuff first okay i missed that one so we failed and no need to pan over. I simply have to roll a d6 again afterwards. And that's a six on a one. Yeah, you guessed it right. This wouldn't have been pretty. But a six says, after questioning, they eventually release you. Hey, come on. R fuel regeneration, your ship gains. <laughs> we even gain something out of this. But why can't we lower our notoriety level with these events? Why can't we do that? I mean, I still take it. So let's roll the four-sided die again. I will roll that off camera. It doesn't matter. It's a one anyway. So we're moving back to 11. But that's basically the end of our round. Pretty eventful 
day, but honestly, I'm not sure if I want to remain here or not. Again, I'm allowed to look at this, right? So is there something, I mean, the five was pretty bad, actually. One red alert, okay, something might happen here. Fuel cell degeneration, I could lose something. I'm stopped by customs. A seven is old, so that's basically the same thing. E30, which is basically this whole retention thing. I think I could have passed, maybe then I would have been able to move on. So it seems that the five and the seven are pretty bad. Everything else seems to be in order. The main question now is do I want to spend my destiny points first now and maybe upgrade something, right? I mean, I could still heal, but I still hope that we can do something at that spaceport. But I also don't want to go into an event now with four destiny points and then I'm in a gunfight, for example, and I could have easily upgraded this. And again, with a combat table, the more we upgrade, the more likely it is we are doing some actual damage, at least to some extent, right? I think I want to do that, actually. I think I want to do though. I will upgrade my blaster again, which means I have to spend a destiny point. And again, we are tinkering with one of your weapons. We currently only have our trusted ray gun. So let's roll the d10 and really hope for something good here. Four? No, I think a four is not good enough. Okay, let's see. We have to go through a mind skill test, basically the same test that we just did with a modifier of zero. If we pass, we go to result seven, which is then basically a success. And it's basically, yeah, it's also a zero. And again, we are hoping for five or more. And that's not good enough. It's a three. It's a fail. Your tinkering was unsuccessful. Fuel degeneration, your ship loses D4 fuel cells. Now I'm rolling a D4, I'm sure. No, it's also one, so we are going down to 10. But then again, this was the event for the day. How much longer do we want to go? I will try that one more time. At least we didn't, I don't know, penalize it in a way that we have more or less broken our weapon here. So I will spend another destiny point and we'll roll again on the D10, right? Yeah, that's the same one. <laughs> it's somewhat of the same result, only slightly worse. If we pass, we are allowed to roll again and the difficulty is higher actually. I think this is now the hard difficulty level, so we need to roll a six or more. It's still a minus two. Yes, exactly. Whew, that's not a good start here. And a 10. It's a 10. It's a 10. But again, the 10 only allows me to roll again on that original upgrade weapon table. So let's roll again. And that's a five. And that's the same thing. Um, like the one that we did before. If we now pass with a five or more, we would then go to event seven or basically on the result seven on that same table. And that's the five we needed. Awesome. Let me quickly confirm. Let's move over. Can you see? I think this is the moderate difficulty level. It's a five five gives us the destiny point back. Okay, that wasn't terrible at all. And the seven to eight you tinkering with the weapon was a success. A weapon upgraded one star, which I totally take. Nice job, Lone Star. And I think then this is also ending our round. And I think now I'm feeling somewhat comfortable. I could now heal or so, but I'm not too worried. I want to spend destiny points just for healing one step. I don't know. Let's deal with the baseboard again. So let's really hope for something better. And that's the 10. Okay, what does the 10 mean? Fuel cell regeneration. Oh, we gain D4 fuel cells. I mean, that is pretty and that is a two. Okay, two. We are moving to 12. At least fuel wise, we are doing okay. And then we get to choose one of those. Oh, that's now really interesting. Catina, promenade, fueling station, no medical bay, hmm. employment. Oh, employment seems really into oh, underworld. Hmm. But so far we weren't that kind of a shady character, but employment seems really good. Let's do that. Let's go for this event here, 57, which says we have to roll a D6 for... 
hate eyes and they hate me. Yeah, the spaceport enters red alert. We don't know what this is, so I'm seriously curious. Uh, Klaxon's Blair. Klaxon's Blair. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is a space race or so. I don't know. Let's roll the d10. And maybe we do see a firefight and that's two. The spaceport is being overrun. Fuel cell. Okay, we are losing fuel again. Um, and this time it's a one. So we netted one fuel out of this whole thing. That's still something. And then we have our overrun E80. What does it say? The spaceport has been overrun by an aggressive species causing mass hysteria as everyone scrambles to escape. Oof, today, today is really the day, huh? Ah, come on, it's so bad. Drooling, flesh rotten, humanoid rotten. I think this is a spelling error. Humanoids race towards you. Okay, we are doing a fight. You cannot attempt to flee from this combat. What? Roll d4 plus 2 to determine the number of them you encounter. Each of these grotesque humanoids have the following stats. Prowess 3. It's a goal. I think they will tear me to pieces, actually. Let's first of all check how many ghouls we are facing here. And for the second time in this game, I'm hoping for a low result. <laughs> Okay, that's six of those. And then we do the initiative roll again on the heart, but we have a plus one. We are still hoping for at least a five. And uh, that's not quite a five. So they even go first. Isn't that lovely? And the main problem now is I only printed out one sheet of this character combat here because I was never thinking about that there should be more than three in a single fight because I have to fight them all. I get to shoot once and exactly once and they also get to shoot at me once but everyone individually. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this game will most likely be over now and the, even they have now initiative which means they could bring me down my prowess uh, quite badly actually and then I will basically suffer. Right now they still roll with a minus one that is something if they really roll very poor and now I have to pay attention they could worsen their condition which is why uh, maybe I should simply go upstairs and print a second sheet of it but I will go through this very first three attacks here and see how things go. They have slightly worse weapons compared to the war should we encountered before so they are uh, basically rolling on the second highest star only um, and yeah they will go first okay here is the first roll again we are looking for this and right now they still have a minus one because of their prowess that's a six and I think a six is already good enough on that star exactly oh this is so bad this is light damage, which is causing one tick of damage. So we are moving on to medium damage. Now our new prowess level counts, which is a three, and I didn't want to heal myself. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. But yeah, uh, the next guy is now fighting me with basically a zero. So no modifiers at all. So uh, what they roll is what, <laughs> that's a 10. <laughs> Okay, I don't need a second sheet of this character combat here. Um, a 10 is basically heavy damage, which is moving me one, two, three points over here, which means I am destroyed. It should really say killed on this character sheet here, but it doesn't really change the outcome. I have lost my very first game of Star Drifter and the real embarrassing part is that I wasn't able to gather any star points whatsoever. I have a good amount of Lugra money here. I think 20 is okay. I wasn't able to really negotiate with a trader or so, maybe in the spaceport to buy myself a ship upgrade. So I really don't know what I would get for 20 bucks. Is that enough for a thrusters update, for a cannons update, maybe even two levels, maybe I get another weapon or so. I really don't know. But that's also now a little bit for you to explore this game, which I really absolutely love. Despite all the very 
random events that are happening left and right. It's really such fun to play because this is really one of these games, even if you do die after 5, 10, 20 minutes, it doesn't really matter because you can right start again with a brand new setup in a totally different sector on the space map here with different starting money your first event could be something completely different you could even win this game after two events so this is where really every time you are playing this game you will also experience its chaos <laughs> it's pure mayhem with all the various events that you will be facing throughout any session. I really hope you did enjoy this. This last episode was quite underwhelming. I must confess, I was relatively certain I would keep going for a couple of more episodes. But then again, fighting six characters, I mean, even two was were enough, as you could tell. Two good roles and you're basically out of here. <laughs> This is exactly what has happened. But yeah, maybe I was able to give you some sort of an appetizer um, to really make you curious about this game. Again, if your space is not your thing, then maybe you want to check out the Drifter. And again, I have also covered the Drifter on my channel here two years, three years ago. Can't quite remember. Uh, and if space is your thing then absolutely go for Star Drifter which you can get it on drive through RPG and I think Ken is also the designer is also working on a hardcover not hardcover on, on a printed version of the game book or on the on the event book here which is definitely something I might consider at some point in time even though I really do like the PDF with the hyperlink so you can really jump between those uh, different paragraphs relatively easily. And yeah, before I forget, another huge shout out to all of my patrons and channel members. You guys are truly amazing. Can't tell you how much you appreciate all your support. If you want to support my little channel here, you will find a link to my page on Patreon. I do plan a giveaway relatively soon for patrons only. So maybe that would entice you to join me or not. <laughs> just mentioning it. You can also join me here directly on YouTube. There is also this little thanks button below the video uh, for a small or not for small donation. Like and subscribe, leave a comment, all is helping to helping the channel to grow. And yeah, with that being said, hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. And until then, bye bye.